Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose, thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this gorgeous Diane bag. We've got the monogram um, with the strap in black, and then we've got the empreinte leather, and this is in the cream with this gorgeous cream strap. So stick around. All right, guys, we're gonna take a look at the specs for the monogram bag first. So we've got the product code or the SKU at M is in Mary 46049. And this comes in two colors, the straps, the fuchsia, and then of course the black, which is what I have. Um, we've got 9.4 inches in the length. You've got 5.9 inches in the height. And then you've got at the very I'm gonna check the base. I think it's at the very base, 3.5 inches in the width. Um, you've got this back pocket, and I'm gonna show you this gorgeous bag uh, through and through, so don't worry about that. Um, we've got the magnetic closure. You've got the gold tone har hardware, and then it's got the natural aged cowhide leather trim, and I love this because you don't have to worry about that patina process. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go over, I think uh, per the website, the strap length is 20.9 inches. And then I'm gonna go ahead and measure what the short uh, shoulder strap is. Obviously you can wear this over your shoulder. You can wear this crossbody with this strap. If you wanna take this strap off for a more sophisticated look, for a more classy look, you definitely can do that because I feel like this really makes it super, super casual. Um, so you can take that off and then just use this. This is adjustable, excuse me, this is removable. This small strap, um, it's not adjustable. Neither one is adjustable, just removable. Um, so if you had another strap, you could definitely attach that and then use it that way. Um, the interior, is just that microfiber lining. Um, it feels like, I guess, I don't know if that's microfiber, but it's like that cloth lining. Um, so I think it's the, mm, yeah, I'll have to check that out to see what that is. But yeah, definitely not the microfiber. It's just that soft uh, cotton feel. Um, and then it's got this zipper on top, that zipper compartment right there. And then it's just an open pocket or a compartment after that. So those are the specs on this particular bag. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the empreinte leather. Now this particular one comes in um, the cream and then the black. Now you guys, I'm obsessed with the black cause it's got this gorgeous, and I'll show you that color um, up here or yeah, somewhere in this video, but it's got the gorgeous like purple um, interior and I was so on the fence. But Small city thinking. People sure know how to drink. I came to the party. I laughed at the jokes you made. I wish that I had inks. Now the jokes on me. I didn't come here just so I could watch you make a mess. I didn't come here to ugly cry in my favorite dress. This one just spoke to me. Like, I absolutely love this. I think it's so beautiful. I love the strap. I love the colors. So I went with, you know, what, what my heart was telling me. Again, this has the gold tone hardware. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, it's got that magnetic closure. Now this has the microfiber lining um, as opposed to the monogram. It's that gorgeous microfiber. It's got the zip compartment up top. And then of course, it's just that open compartment as well. On the back, it's the same thing. You've got this back pocket right here. And I'm sure, let me see if the specs are um, the same as I'm sure it is, but let me just go over what the website says as far as, obviously there's gonna be a difference in price because of the leather versus the canvas. It's not a lot, not at all, um, but yeah, I mean, there's gonna be that slight difference in price. So this particular product code or SKU is M is in Mary 46388. And then again, it just comes in that gorgeous black and then the cream. Um, let's see what the specs on this. So I think the specs are a little bit different actually. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that again. But it's 9.1 inches in the length. 
It's 6.3 inches in the height. And then, yeah, it is a little bit different. And then 3.3 inches in the, the width. So I'm thinking, I wanna see what fits in both to see if they kind of match up, but there is a slight difference in, in the sizes. Just very, very minimal. But on the website, this is called Cream Beige. And then of course it's that embossed supple grain cowhide leather. And then it's got the leather trim. It's got, again, the removable straps. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and, and measure that short strap for both of them. Magnetic closure, and I think, yeah, so see here, it's got this double flap right here. So on the monogram, it does, it does actually. Okay, so here it's just underneath, it's shorter and then it goes longer. Here it goes shorter on top and then longer on the bottom, and this is completely reversed. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know if that's got, yeah, so they both have Louis Vuitton embossed on this part right here, on this, this piece right here. And then let's see what else. They're saying the strap drop on this is 16.9 inches. So there's a difference there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll measure, uh, the short strap and the long strap on both of these right now. So we've got the short strap on the monogram at, if you're going all the way down, it's gonna surpass about eight, eight and a half inches. Cause if you're coming down here, that's gonna be a little bit longer. And then we've got the on front strap, let's see. And the gold does look different. This looks like a paler gold. This looks like a more, I guess, dim gold, um, but let's measure this. Yeah, so it's, that was pretty much the same, wasn't it? Yeah, this one's a little bit longer, I think. But yeah, they're pretty, pretty similar. This has Louis Vuitton embossed here, um, and so does the monogram. So they're both, both embossed as well on that strap. Let's see, let's do the long strap, see what we got. Now, let me see the, okay, so yeah, they're both, yeah, very, very similar there. Yeah, okay, let's do long strap. So yeah, if we're going right down there, it's gonna be 20. I think that's what the website said, so that is accurate. And then we'll do this guy right here. And I will give you a close-up so you guys can see the details of these gorgeous bags. This is probably one of my favorites. So yeah, they are the exact same, actually. So the website does have it a little bit different, um, but they, they measure the same. All right, so I will show you the monogram up close. And this is a perfect everyday bag. I mean, even for me who carries a lot. So you guys that don't carry a lot, this is fantastic. I will say the zipper on the monogram is a lot more fluid than on the Empreinte, and I'll show you that here in a second. But you can stick, can I stick my phone back here? Let me see if I can stick my phone back here. Let's see if this fits. And I've got the big guy. Yeah, that fits perfectly. So your iPhone, if you guys are iPhone carriers, you can, uh, yeah, you can fit it right back there and it will zip. that. And then I'm so obsessed with this, you guys. I think this is so stunning. I'm so glad they did it in the Empreinte. It's so beautiful and smells amazing. Beautiful strap. 
I do. I've heard a lot of people kind of, you know, just they're not they're not a big fan of, of the strap. It does make it very, very casual for sure. But I just think that makes it all the more versatile. Um, so again, if you want, if you're going for an evening out, you know, you've got this during the day, just take off this strap, stick it in the car, stick it in your bag, um, depending on what you're carrying. And then just you've got this strap right here. And that really just makes it really dressy, a lot more dressy than with this strap right here. So this is what I was talking about as far as the flap. You've got the shorter and then the longer. And then here you've got longer and then underneath it's the shorter. But yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. Tell me if you guys will give me your thoughts on these. Do you prefer one over the other as far as the material? So we're going to get inside as well to kind of see what fits in and to see if one fits more than the other or if they're exact. All right, so we're going to see what fits in the monogram um, first. And I think because it is monogram, we'll see. I'm not going to say anything. We'll see what fits inside there. So I'll put the same exact things in both. So first, we're going to start with a full-size wallet. I always have keys, so we'll put in my key holder. So this is what I would carry for sure on a typical day. I've got my AirPods. They're the pros. And then if I wanted to, I could stick my keys in the rear pocket so I have easy access, but it does bulge out a little bit, which that does not bother me. And of course I can put my phone back there. So let me put my phone back there. I'll stick my phone back there. So I'll put my keys in that um, pocket along with the other two pieces. Where are my, where's my phone? All right, so my phone's right here. So we're gonna stick this in this back pocket and it fits beautifully. And then um, I usually do have a pair of glasses. So this is my um, glass sunglass case. So we're gonna see if that fits in there. I'm thinking I'm pushing it a little bit, but we're gonna check it out anyway. So mint and then glasses. We'll put that in there. And yeah, this definitely will not fit. If I take the glasses out, I think for sure they'll fit. So let me take them out. I'm just going to put them right on top. And you just have to play, you know, a little Tetris there. And I think that fits beautifully. Yes, it does. It's not bulging. Everything fits in just fine. The phone's back here. Yeah, it's great. Not too heavy. So now we're going to put everything that was in here in here. So let's switch them. Stick that there. Put this gorgeous bag right here. All right, so let's take everything out. I'm just gonna transfer everything so you can see it in real time. So here's the coin purse. I'm holding the glasses right now, but here is the wallet. This already feels like it's getting cramped. So, huh, that's interesting. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to keys, AirPod Pro. Pros, the glasses I'm still holding. What else do we have? All right, and then we've got mints and then glasses. That's everything as you can see. And I think it'll I think it'll be fine actually. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Fits perfectly. Yep. Absolutely perfect. 
And then I'm gonna stick that phone in that back pocket of this. Yep. So the exact amount fit in both. That's awesome. Okay. So let's put some other items in there. So I'll start with the monogram since that's completely empty. You can definitely put in your compact wallets. If you carry compact wallets, you can of course do that. So this is the Victorine. So I'll stick this in there. Um, let's do a Kindle. So we're gonna do the Victorine, the Kindle. Let me see if the Kindle fits in this back pocket. Oh, and the Kindle does fit in that back pocket. So you can easily stick it right there out of the way. I don't know that it'll zip, but yeah, it won't zip, but you can stick it back there. All right, so we've got those two items in there. And then we'll do a card holder, sunglass case. I just wanna see if that's, yeah, it, I think, does it fit? No, let's see, I haven't, I haven't tried that out yet. So we'll put the flat card holder, we'll put the sunglass case, and then a full size lotion to see if that fits. That's fantastic. That fits beautifully, you guys. And that closes beautifully. Yeah, so you guys, this can fit a whole lot. And I, I will put, I know it's gonna fit in here, but let's just try it again. I'll take all this stuff out. And I know the Agenda PM fits inside. I went and push it with the MM for sure because that'll take up the whole bag and I don't think it's gonna close either. So I would say no on that. And then the phone is still back here. So we're gonna put this stuff in here. And then of course you've got that back pocket. You could put, you know, this flat card holder if you wanted some security, um, but I've got the Kindle back there. So I'm just gonna stick it the same way. Right there. I was going to say that feels a little tighter, but I think something's, yeah. That does feel a little bit tighter, and, I, and you can see it's, it's sticking up a little bit more. Maybe that's because of the, um, the different interiors. I'm not sure, but see, it does stick up significantly more than it does in the monogram. So let's see if everything else fits. We've got these two pieces. That's it, right? Yep, and that is it. Let's see if she closes up. And of course, you'll play. You'll have to play with your items to see what suits you best, what fits in the best. Yeah, and that closes with no issues. So I'm, yeah, I'm definitely gonna say. I mean, there's a little lift right here, whereas the monogram doesn't have that. But it's because of the different, you know, it's leather versus canvas. Uh, but that fits beautifully. And then my phone is still back here. So yeah, you guys, I highly recommend either one of these. If you're a more casual person, I would definitely say the monogram. You know, if, if you, you know, it's your preference too. Do you like leather versus canvas? Do you like dressy versus casual? Because both of them could be worn casually. Um, we've seen that, um, but I think that's gonna do it. I think I covered everything. Um, I'll have the information for both of these beauties up top and down below, and then we'll do some mod shots and that's it. Hopefully I covered everything. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Take care. Small city thinking, I get why you left. Small-minded people, sure know how to drink. I came to the party, I laughed at the jokes you made. I wish that I hadn't, cause now the joke's on me. I didn't come here just so I could watch you make a mess. I didn't come here to ugly cry in my favorite dress. Now you are uh.
знаю 